Hey guys, this is Khadeen and you are watching Grow with Khadeen. In this video, I'll be sharing with you that how you can create this type of awesome websites, consulting website uh, for yourself. If, if you are running a consultation, a consultation firm, if you are a consultant, coach means uh, consultant means financial consultant, tax consultant, or any type of business or personal consultant or coach, you can use this tutorial to create a website for yourself. So before giving you the overview of the website, let me just clear you some uh, a few things that I am a professional web developer and this type of website cost around thousand to two thousand dollars to be built and also uh, it needs uh, it needs a lot of time like one week to two weeks. But you will be creating this complete website without coding with drag and drop just replacing pictures. Uh, within about 20 to 30 minutes you can see the time left uh, and uh, you will be creating the complete website uh, in this time and I'll also tell you that how you can get traffic to your website how you can use this website uh, to get uh, get the business and I'll also tell you that how you can save thousand dollars plus okay. but before just starting the video make sure you have subscribed to my youtube channel and clicked on bell icon why to subscribe to my youtube channel because my subscribing to my youtube channel is absolutely free uh, if you are uh, uh, older on my channel uh, then you might know that I used to upload uh, premium tutorials which are available on uh, Skillshare, Teachable or Udemy etc uh, for hundreds of dollars but you can get the same tutorials with same content on my channel just for free and subscribing to my YouTube channel is free so you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on bell icon and that's the only way you can get like all the premium content for free and also check out the description box where all the special links are uh, available and i will also recommend you to use calendly now what calendly is this uh, this is not a sponsor of the video i am just recommending you as if you are a consultant uh, it is a software to book the meetings at uh, meetings and uh, uh, scheduling appointments uh, with which a user can also pay you and uh, i have also uh, added my calendly uh, link uh, with, where you can just book up one-on-one -on -one consultation with me if you want to grow your business or you need any help regarding that and you can uh, check out other tools also which I use for uh, my business and personal use okay so you can check out the description below to uh, check out more things and you can also check out this uh, chapters box because I have divided this video in chapters so uh, you can skip the part you don't want to see and I am also running a web design and digital marketing firm where we provide digital marketing, SEO, web design and branding services. Uh, so if you need help from us, you can hire us for these services and to hire us, I have given all the contact details below in description. You can contact me through WhatsApp, Instagram, uh, Twitter or uh, phone or email also and uh, you can just contact us uh, through any mean and uh, uh, now uh, that's all about the marketing let's just come back to the website tutorial and tell you that how you can create the now to create any type of website the first and most important thing is the domain name and hosting of the website now if you don't know what the domain name and hosting is domain name is the name of the website like uh, suppose if you want to go to facebook you type in facebook.com if you want to go to Google, you type in google.com. So that's how if you want someone wants to go to uh, your consulting website, they need uh, they need to have an address. Okay, so you need address for your website. Uh, maybe it's khadeenconsulting.com or uh, uh, gwkconsulting.gwkcoach.com uh, or khadeenakbar.com or like something like that. Okay. So uh, you can use any one of them. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, get any one of them now, uh, and I'll tell you that how you can get it just for free with a green lock icon. And uh, I'll uh, uh, now what hosting is. Hosting is uh, a space is a hard disk, or you can say hosting is a storage. Uh, think of uh, the web uh, your website as a Microsoft Word file. Now, if a Word file needs to be stored on a computer, uh, its image is on all data, uh, and website or, or itself also needs to be stored on a computer which is 24/7 connected to com uh, internet, which is a super fast computer. So you cannot maintain it by yourself, but there are companies providing these services. But because we are using WordPress, so I will be recommending you the service which is recommended by WordPress and recommended by me. And you are getting about 65% off with free domain. Now what you just have to do is you just have to go to link in description below or you just have to type in webifiedhub.com slash bluehost and you can get a special offer for uh, on Bluehost. 
here on bluehost they are uh, they are uh, they are providing both domain name and hosting and with hosting they are, are pro, uh, they are providing free domain name now why i recommend bluehost first of first uh, and most uh, like first and foremost reason is that bluehost is recommended uh, even by wordpress itself okay second thing is their chat support now why uh, because bluehost is rated best with their chat support uh, like if you have any problem with your website at other hosting companies what you need to do is you need to hire someone you need to hire a developer to solve this problem but with bluehost that's not the case uh, you just have to go to chat you just have to ask the bluehost team that do this for myself uh, Uh, solve that problem and they will solve your problem in matter of few seconds and that quality service is not even uh, provided by any uh, uh, premium service okay and the uh, second thing is the, uh, the performance is the thing but uh, that's with all the hosting companies but the second thing uh, they have uh, greater is their pricing plans they are providing you something uh, something very cheaper like Uh, they have their basic plan starts from uh, 2.95 and plus plan starts from 7.45 now this 7.45 per month plan um, is uh, the same features are offered by other companies at about 30 40 50 60 dollars per month and they are giving you it at only 7.45 dollars per month Uh, and uh, now what's the difference between basic plus and choice plus if you have only one website and you just want to maintain one website you can get basic plan but you if have mul- if you have multiple websites and you want to host multiple websites with unlimited unlimited websites with unlimited space and uh, free domain name you can have this plus plan and if you need only one website with 50 gb storage and free domain name you can just get, go with this basic plan so i will just go with this basic plan i'll just click on select now here uh, you just have to uh, enter your domain name you want for your website like khadeem consults.com okay so i'll just click on next and now here what you just have to do is you just have to enter your information here uh, you just have to enter your first name last name etc or you can just sign in with google but i'll enter all the details manually and here what you just have to do is you just have to select it for uh, 12 months okay uh, i would recommend you to select it for 12 months and after selecting that what you just have to do is uh, you just have to remove uh, the code guard basic site log if you want any of them you can get it but if you want something at budget then i would recommend you to just uh, t- uh, select it off and now you can see you are getting 70% off with free domain name and you are saving up to uh, about 84 dollars and you are getting uh, this complete yearly plan at 47 dollars only now what you just have to do is you just have to enter your card information and after adding card information you just have to select this one and after selecting uh, this one you just have to click on submit so when you will click on submit uh, you will be popped up and asked that whether you want to choose wordpress or their own site builder or you want to use bluehost builder you just have to unselect all and choose wordpress and after you will select wordpress you will be given access to this dashboard Uh, I, i think i am at the right place or uh, wrong place so uh, you will be given to the dashboard similar to this one uh, this type of dashboard uh, uh, you will get this type of dashboard and after you have access to this type of dashboard you have created the website okay uh, not created uh, this type of website but how our website is looking right now is shocking uh, let me just show you that's how our website is looking right now and will be converting this website into this website within matter of few minutes Now here at the dashboard, uh, this is the appearance section where you will get themes, customize, etc. Here in post section, you can add new posts, delete posts, etc. Here in pages section, you can add or create pages, and here in plugin section, you can add or remove plugins. Uh, and in tools section, you have uh, some tools and a lot other stuff. But the things that are required for a consulting website, I'll be teaching you, and uh, I'll not be teaching you everything because if I'll be teaching you everything, it might take about twenty to twenty four hours. or maybe 48 hours or maybe a week uh, to teach you everything but the things that are required will be taught in this video and you can just manage your business website by yourself or uh, again marketing you can just hire uh, us for that or anyone else on upwork the link is in description below 
so now to convert this website into this website what you just have to do is you need a wordpress theme uh, like uh, you need a complete package website uh, which you just need to install on your uh, uh, on your uh, domain name and the complete website will be installed on your domain name and what you just have to do is you just have to change the logo you just have to change the pictures and uh, this stuff and you are all done and that's how we'll be creating this website within a matter of few seconds and this template is designed by experts for mobile for computer and etc now how to buy this domain name you just have to type in webifiedhub.com slash flocks this is the theme we are going to use in this video i'll tell you that why we are using this theme and why this theme is best and recommended by me so here we go this is the theme we are going to use now why this theme because let me just first show you the stats uh, this theme is top rated theme on the world's best digital marketplace which is in Vato market theme forest and this uh, this theme has about 30,000 plus sales it means that 30,000 plus websites are using this wordpress theme with 4.65 stars rating and this is built with wordpress and this was usually $59 but right now you are getting it at only $39 okay and one thing which is best about this theme you have pre-made templates and the second thing that you have 180 plus demos uh, there is uh, it's written 170 but right now with updated version you have 180 plus demos you can create consulting websites business websites restaurant uh, e-commerce e stores and any type of websites with this wordpress theme so that's why i recommend you using this wordpress theme and you will be when you will be familiar with this wordpress theme after this video you can create any type of uh, website using the same wordpress theme so what you just have to do is you just have to click on add to cart and after clicking on add to cart just go to checkout and after going to checkout what you just have to do is here you just have to enter your name so i'll just name it uh Khadin consults and email Khadin consults at yahoo.com i'll just click on next now here just choose the username i'll select Khadin consults i'll select the password and after that i'll select this one captcha create create account uh, create account and continue and after doing that what you just have to do is you just have to enter uh, your name address and information etc so here you just have to enter your address information so i'll add this address information click save and continue and after clicking on save and continue what you just have to do is below you just have to pay them now you can pay them with the uh, oh you have zero dollars handling fees uh you are lucky if you don't have this one i i didn't know that you will be getting this uh feature also uh but usually you, you just have to pay two dollars handling fees now uh, you have paypal skrill and uh, credit card debit card you can pay with any payment method and when you will pay uh and you uh, you just have to go to your account and just go to download section and here in download section you just have to download that wordpress theme file and after you have downloaded this wordpress theme file i'll tell you that how to upload this one and how to customize according to your need now that you have downloaded that wordpress theme now what you just have to do is um, you just have to go to appearance and just go to themes and after going to themes what you just have to do is you just have to click on add new and click on upload theme just select choose file oh sorry no one thing i forgot the theme is not available here because this is my dummy account and i just didn't bought from this account i have already bought this wordpress theme and using it on my website uh, because I cannot afford to uh, buy a theme each time I create the video so that's why I have already bought and uploaded it uh, so you will get the, the file here you just have to download it so after doing that just click on choose file and upload the file you down uh, the down uh, the file you downloaded here I just got that this one is 
uh, the file and what you just have to do is you just have to download it uh, sorry upload it and click on install now after you have done it i have already done, uh, done it so here you will get the flock pro what you just have to do is you just have to click on activate and this would be activated and after that you will need to install required plugins so just click on install and the required plugins would be start installing so that all the required plugins are installed there's one thing missing also uh, because i have already uploaded the theme and activated the theme so i am getting this acti green activated but you will not get it you will get unactivated and you will get a pop up where they will ask you for license key and uh, they will ask you for license key as well as email so you just have to enter the email and uh, along with that file you will get a license key which you just have to copy and paste there okay and you will get this green activated and after doing that what you just have to do is now we will uh, we'll start importing our demo now to import the demo you just have to go to demo importer and here you just have to search for consulting here you can see there are hundreds of uh, like hundreds of themes available there but as i showed you this theme so i'll be installing this theme just click on import and click on continue and you will have to install required plugins so i'll just click on install plugins this will take uh, about a minute or half a minute and after that we'll continue now after these demo uh, uh, these required plugins are installed you have a, a small a tiny problem what is it that uh, with the, this uh, template kit with this theme you will get watermarks on all the images uh, you can see like this one uh, you will see, uh, have a dashes on all the images and you will not have clear images so you will have to use your own images and i'll tell you that how you can get it you can just go to pexels.com or any other stock photo site and you can get the images but if if you want, don't want to do that what you can do is you can just go to link in description below or just type in webifydub.com slash invato elements uh and when you will go to webifydub.com slash invato elements invato elements is where you will get all the images uh, uh premium stock photos and images here you can see uh, so this is the website where you will get the stock photos and images and it is uh, starting from almost uh, let me just tell you it is starting from 16.50 dollars per month so you just have to pay 16.50 dollars and you will get awesome video templates stock videos music sound effects graphic templates presentation templates and all other stuff um, if you are using flocks or not i would recommend you to go with the, go to this website for your professional work because you have pre made uh, presentations Uh, graphics if you want to run ads if you want to create a music if you want to do uh, some websites or if you want any uh, templates like uh, web templates 3d files or courses also you have courses and a lot other stuff so i will uh, just recommend you to use this in what to elements and i am also using this one uh, okay and after if you have uh, uh, got this subscription you can just click on remove watermarks or you can skip that and when you will click on remove watermarks uh, you will just uh, click you will have to click on explore and subscribe and here you just have to connect your flocks uh, with this one oh sorry so then you will just have to uh, connect your flocks with this website but because right now i am focusing on saving money so i'll just uh, skip uh, skip or what you can do is if you are uh, oh sorry i just forgot uh, so uh, when you will get the subscription so you will just click on activate here and here you just have to enter your email address and continue and do all the stuff required okay so after doing that what you just have to do is uh, uh, after doing that you will have to import the watermarks when uh, but if uh, you do not have to remove the watermarks uh, the all the watermarks will be removed when it will be connected to your website but if you don't want to do that just click on skip and after clicking on skip uh, it is asking you to com uh, import complete pre built website so i'll just click on import content and the complete website would be imported in a matter of few seconds and you will see this website converted into uh, this website 
you will see in a matter of few seconds it's just a few downloads away a few seconds away so here you go uh, congratulations demo has been successfully imported and we'll just reload this website and three two one and here you go your website is completely imported but you can see you have these uh, dashes and flocks uh, uh, fl uh, you can see it's the flocks watermarks so to remove those watermarks i just told you the way you can do it or you can just what you can do is you can just go uh, to get free uh, stock photos you can just go to pexels.com okay or you can just uh, go to webified uh, sorry uh, you can just go to uh, pexels.com or you can just go to uh, link in description below okay uh, i have also given the web, uh, link to website in description below so you can go to that link and here you can search for each type of image uh, so this is not the uh, image uh, this is not the image i think you might, might be using so if you want to use your own image if you have the one like that what you can do is you can just go to remove.bg and at remove.bg uh, you can just uh, remove your background image you can uh, like this one you can add your uh, like these one uh, you can just add your image and it will automatically remove your background and you can just upload the image there uh, but first of all let me just tell you that how we'll be doing all that so first of all uh, we will be editing this header like this logo and all the phone number and text and uh, keep it as it is and uh, then we'll be editing this footer then we'll be editing this footer here you can see this is the footer and we'll be editing this complete footer and after editing this footer what we'll be doing we'll be doing uh, we'll be editing all the home pages first of all ho uh, sorry all the pages first of all home then about services projects blogs and contact page so we'll be editing all these pages so let's just go with first one so first of all we'll be editing the uh, uh, the header okay so now to edit the header we'll just go to led with elementor and then we'll just go to site header okay uh, now uh, the elementor is a page builder which you need to learn a bit about uh, uh, about which you want to learn a bit so what you can do if you want to make it easy to create this website and whole stuff what you can do is you can just go to youtube and search for elementor tutorial and here you will get a lot of the elementor tutorials uh, like you will get uh, one hour tutorial 28 minutes tutorial and there is also a tutorial by living with pixels which is 11 minutes only uh, uh, to learn uh, to make you learn and know the basics of elementor okay so you can learn the basics of elementor from there and here you can see the site header is imported and here we can edit the complete site header now to edit the logo and all that stuff first of all what we'll have to do is we'll just have to go to these three lines hamburger and then we'll just be going to settings and after just going to settings what we'll be doing is we'll be going to this global uh, sorry uh, now uh, there's a section called global colors in elementor now what you can do is you can change the color scheme of the website like here you can see the background color description color and text color and uh, other colors now if you want uh, if you have any other color scheme uh, either generated by canva and i have given the link to canva in description below because canva is not only a graphic design tool you can also design your brand kits and color templates with canva pro and you can uh, i just recommend you to check it out okay and here you can change your branding kit colors you can ch just change uh, all your fonts and you can also uh, ch uh, you can ch change all the stuff and it will be automatically change, uh, changed on all the descriptions all the backgrounds and all that stuff okay automatically now first of all we just want to edit this logo so we will be going to site identity and here from here what you can do is you can just remove this logo and you can choose one of your choice you can just uh, upload uh, the logo you want so i'll just go to select files and after going to select files i'll just select logo of uh, logo of mine which is this one 
so i'll be uploading this logo i'll just select this logo and click on insert media this logo is added and here you can just change the fab icon also if you want to change this one you can just change with the same process and there's the process of uploading uh, information so i'll just name it uh, website by khadeen akbar and i'll just click on update and it would be updated and now we'll just go back to our editor and i'll just click on this one this cross section and now you will see that the logo is updated now uh, to change the dimensions of the logo what you can do is you just have to click to edit any stuff what you just have to do is you just have to click on this one uh, to edit now uh, let me just give you a basic overview of the elementor that uh, it is divided into a few sections first one uh, like it is uh, uh, classified first one the biggest uh, part is the section and then section is divided into columns and then column is uh, you can add the uh widgets or you can uh, say objects in those columns so this one is a section we containing one column and in this column you have two uh you have three widgets first one is this and this and this okay so we'll be editing this widget uh, which is a logo and i'll just click on edit and here you can just centralize it or you can just uh, make it uh, wherever you want or you want you can link it somewhere you want and then uh, in uh, there are three tabs uh, content style and advanced advanced tab is for elementor pro users and uh, style tab is uh, uh, where you can just uh, style the stuff you can just increase or decrease the width of the logo or max width or any other uh, the stuff or etc you can change the title you can just change the description or uh, uh, sorry you can change the uh, styles of those stuff and in content the section you can just edit the content okay this one is menu section so i don't recommend you to change this one keep it as it is i would recommend you to do it because don't go too much technical you will be messed up okay so this is my recommendation if you want to change this one you can change it by yourself uh, it's not uh, a rocket science but i would recommend you to um, keep it uh, as it is because this is de designed by expert designers and that's why i just don't want to mess things up and then we have this call section so here uh, in content section you can change the phone number from here and you can also change the text from here and you can just do it by drag and drop and just click on any section and you will be uh, see, uh, seeing editor here so that's all about our uh, header i'm not changing the things uh, because i don't want to change the things uh, because these are designed by expert designers and i don't want to change all that stuff and i just want to change the text and uh, uh, the things that are required okay so now here again our website is loaded here you can see our website is loaded so now we'll be going to footer so we want to change this footer this complete footer uh, like uh, newsletter section open hours external links and all that sections so what we'll be doing is we'll be doing uh, going there uh, edit header and footer and we'll be going to uh, edit site footer okay so we'll be going to edit site footer or you can just go to edit with elementor and you can select this site footer and here you are now to change all that stuff you see this is the yellow background but uh, this is directly uh, directed to the uh, the color i just showed you as a background and you can change it from there i would not recommend you to change it for these colors from here but you can change from there okay so here by just clicking on the text you can change the text or if you want to change the, the fonts etc you can just go to styles and change but i would again strongly recommend you to don't change anything except the content don't change the styles uh, let's suppose uh, you want to make it looking for a first class financial consultant okay so you can add it but i would not recommend you to change that uh, style but you can change it it's your choice it's absolutely your choice and in get a code section you can also uh, change this button you can change the button text highlight your text and you can also add a link there if you want to add a link to your calendly uh, calendly uh, like uh, i just told uh, talked to you about calendly which is appointment booking so you can also uh, add that or any other stuff and here in logo section you can add a secondary logo of yourself uh, by again going there and adding secondary logo uh, but i would recommend you to remove this one and here you can add the uh, uh, add your address and uh, you can add it by yourself 
and here you can add your phone number to change the icon you just have to go to icon library and i this is not suitable so i'll select the phone so i'll select this one and i'll add this one and uh, this uh, suits more okay and you can also change the size of these icons like if you want to change uh, uh go to icon section and here you can just change the icon width etc icon size etc and you can also change the alignment of icon or uh, the way the icon is presented now the second part is external links so you can also change the text if you want and here in external links section uh, this is the section and uh, uh, sorry and there you just have to click on this one and you can add the links you want uh, uh, here in uh, text section you can change the text and here in link section you can add the link to each uh, 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 link to each uh, text okay and in style section you can just change the space between or if you want to change the text icons or uh, anything else you can change it and same is the case with the se uh, second section you just have to select this one change uh, the links you want and the third th section is uh, uh, open hours and uh, this is the most crucial part because open hours is very important so you can just go to uh, title uh, oh, sorry heading and title section and there you can add uh, the text you want like i'll make it opening hours i'm just giving you an, uh, an idea but i'm just messing up things and that's why i would recommend you uh, strongly recommend you to don't change anything except the required ones and here it's monday saturday uh, uh, monday to saturday 8 to uh, 5 pm but uh, you can customize it and edit by your um, uh, as you want and this is a sign up for newsletter section and uh, here you can just uh, select mailchimp or any other sign up form and to learn the, about mailchimp mailchimp is a mailing service email for email marketing so you can search for mailchimp wordpress tutorial or mailchimp elementor tutorial and you will get to learn about mailchimp more but i would not recommend you to go deeper down if you are uh, keeping it as simple as possible and if you are with uh, uh, something like uh, uh, like paid marketing etc okay so here uh, you can also change this text i'll name it uh Khadeen consults so now it looks good. Uh, copyright uh, 2021 Kadeen Concerts. All right, re uh, rights reserved. And I'll click on update. And now our header and footer are completed. I have just given you an overview that that's how you can edit the header and footer of your website very easily. So now we'll come back and we'll be editing the pages now. Now here, what you just have to do is you just have to ho edit the home page. Now to edit the home page. You just have to go to edit with elementor okay so to edit the home page just uh, simply go to edit with elementor so here's the elementor editor now what you just have to do is to change this picture uh, you just have to click on edit advanced image and you can just upload the image uh, the way I uh, told you go to remove.bg and add your image just click on choose image and you can uh, add the image of yourself and it would be removed and to just change the text just apply the same thing just click on each text the editor will be uh, loaded there and here you can change the text by saying there elementor is too much easy to use right now it might be seeming difficult but when you will do it practically it would seem a lot easy a lot easier a lot easier even as a 10 years old kid can use this one so don't be messed up just try it out and it would be a lot easy and uh, just uh, go to secondary heading to change the secondary heading and just go to description to change uh, this and uh, all these description and all that stuff okay and after that you will need to change this button and you can just go to uh, this button click on edit and here you can uh, also add like let me just give you an example i just want to add a book and appointment section uh, button uh, on top book and book a meeting okay book a meeting and here i just want to add my consultation link webifiedhub.com slash consultation okay so i just want to add my consultation link so when someone will click on this link they will be redirected to uh, a new uh, a new page which is webifiedhub.com slash consultation where people can uh, book a consultation with me 
okay now uh, what's uh, uh, second it's about a section in about a section just the same case just ch change the heading just change the secondary heading and then change the description and then change the button and if you want to uh, change this introductory uh, tree video link or text you can also change it by yourself and you can also change these pictures by yourself or you can let the pictures be as they are okay and then you have services section where you have financial services strategic planning and trades and stock okay so you can add the services by yourself and you can add the icons even icons by yourself it is an inline svg and if you want to uh, 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 i would recommend you to convert it to icon and from here you can select an icon let's suppose uh, you are providing financial services so i'll just search for money and i'll just click on insert and here you can see uh, money section is added now and uh, that's how you can add the uh, stuff by yourself and uh, what's next uh, i'll just select the svg right for right now so I just selected SVG and now it is the header in content section you can just change uh, this title financial services I'll just say text consultation and here in description section you can change the description and if you want to add a read more button to redirect uh, it to some other page you can just click on display button and a button will be displayed and you can change uh, the styles. Now to change the styles of this uh, section uh, you can just go to styles and change it but i why i am not going to styles too much because i just created videos before and i just messed up stuff uh, by just editing the styles tell you telling you how to edit the styles and i just messed up the websites so that's why i just don't go to the styles because the website is already designed what you just have to do is you just have to edit some stuff and you just have to edit some pictures so now to edit these pictures you just have to click on uh, 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 edit the um, section or you can just edit this one and here you can just go to layout and uh, i think so in styles so for here you can edit all the pictures by yourself okay and uh, add the pictures of yourself and here uh, you can just uh, change the carousel uh, this is the carousel and to change the carousel uh, you can just go to uh, layout just go to carousel and these are the portfolio images and uh, case, business case studies so you can just edit it from your wordpress dashboard in portfolio section here in portfolio section you have all the case studies if you have your business case studies you can just directly add it uh, add them there and these will be automatically edited from here and uh, then you have a section for uh, free consulting uh, you can add uh, this one or you can just uh, embed your calendly also there you can connect calendly to elementor and the same is the case you can just uh, search on uh, youtube and you will find a lot of videos and then why choose the section the same case you just have to edit this picture uh, this text and all that stuff and then you have this pricing plan section and uh, to ch uh, change the pricing and plans just go to uh, select each part now here uh, select each table and you can edit uh, the pricing plan in heading uh, pricing stuff in heading and in secondary heading you can just uh, select this one you can edit this uh, 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 like secondary heading and you can also edit these contents just by clicking on the contents and just going to this editing bar you can just edit all the content by yourself and uh, after doing that you can just uh, edit the order now button also and if you want to connect it to woocommerce uh, or stripe you can also connect this one okay and then what our client says it is the testimonial section which you will have to edit uh, uh, from here you can just uh, select the testimonial uh, testimonial one testimonial two testimonial three and i'll tell you that how you can edit this one also these testimonials also from here you cannot edit these testimonials but i'll tell you that how you can edit these testimonials okay then is the uh, footer section so we have completed our home page and i'll i'm going to save this one so that's all about the home page then uh, now we'll go to next page and we'll be editing this next page so i'll be just going back to our website and i'll also be telling you that how you can ch just change those testimonials so um here we are at the back at the website now after editing the home page we'll be going to about page and we'll be editing the about page with the same technique 
so here we go here's the about page and you can see we have the same sections and we'll be uh, using the same strategy uh, to change all their stuff like uh, using uh, just uh, just going to edit with elementor just going there just going there to the page and just uh, messing up with the stuff and we'll not be messing up but we'll be just changing uh, making a few changes and our website will be complete so here you go we have the complete editor loaded for about page so to edit the this uh, stuff to edit this text just click on this text and here you can edit the welcome text and in secondary header you can uh, edit the global uh, stakeholder text and this description section you can uh, change the other text okay and then you can edit this image by clicking on edit uh, image and just go to choose image and upload image of yourself and here you can just change the number and also you can add your signatures here how to add the signatures you can just make signatures by yourself going to remove.bg just remove the background and just come there okay and here you can just uh, add a drive a google drive link to this download uh, brochure section uh, by add, adding brochure to Google Drive and here you can edit this text and in our team section you can just edit the team images and team uh, team da uh, data uh, staff name staff okay, occupation staff page link if you want to add some LinkedIn etc and staff uh, social profiles uh, if you want to enable them you can also enable these stuff okay and then you have our discover our uh, join our team section and you can redirect the users to your job listing or a career uh, page and then we have this one this one is a bit dynamic just click on each one you can change the text and here you can make it 25 percent or 30 percent and it would be changed in real time and here you can just uh, same stuff you can just edit the stuff and just click on update and it's completely updated and now we'll just go to services section to edit the services and we'll be again doing edit with elementor to do all this so now again just go to edit with elementor and open it and uh, elementor page builder is getting loaded and we'll be now editing the, our services page so here we go we have services section now and uh, again we just have to change the text and all that stuff and that's the same pages that we edited on home page and we just have to click on each one you can just convert it to image or icon and you can add one of your uh, uh, one from your choice or you can just make it none and uh, uh, to edit the text below you just have to go to content and edit the text and if you want to add the button you can also add the button and here you can add the partners by yourself you can just uh, up, uh, download the images get the images uh, logos of the partners and just go to choose image and you can add the partners by yourself and then we have uh, this stats and to edit the stats just go to each stat and you can just add the stat and if you want to add some prefix or suffix like plus or m or any uh, other suffix prefix you can add this and you can the same process is there to edit the image and all that stuff and that's all about that uh, page and just click on update to update it and then we'll just go to project section uh, where we have our all projects and these project section is from the portfolio i think and uh, our portfolio is getting loaded and to change this project section you just uh, to update this project section you will have to update your portfolio uh, so portfolio is here uh, what you can do is you can just uh, select all the uh, 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 files and just move to trash and you can add your own portfolio and edit this one then we have blog section and blog section how to edit the blog section you just have to go to posts and just go to all posts and there you will get all the uh, posts or you can just go to post and new post uh, and you can add the new post by yourself and if you don't know how to add a new post or delete a new post you can just uh, head out to youtube and learn from youtube university uh, youtube is a university i think huh? uh, then uh, we after this blog section we have contact section which is the final section and we'll be editing this section okay uh, so we have then a, uh, a contact page now this is the problem i am getting in each video and uh, i am giving you answer again and again so uh, you will have to set up google maps api key to show map here uh, 
uh, now if i'll be doing it i it may, would take my 5 minutes uh, or, or more but uh, there are some limitations that i cannot use google maps api key because i am uh, making i am willing to make about 30 to 40 web design tutorials and in each for each web design tutorial and cannot grab an api key okay so i have a, a good solution for you uh, better than the solution uh, better than this solution what you can do you can just uh, search for how to set up google maps api key with elementor and you will get a tutorial on how you can set up google maps api key with elementor and when you will set up you will not see this one now we'll just go with edit with elementor and we'll be editing this stuff and uh, now we are re uh, being redirected to the elementor landing page and here we'll be editing all the stuff so here you go and here we'll be editing all the stuff and um, now here when someone will sign up uh, here uh, someone will contact you uh, then the message will come to the your email uh, box uh, the email with which you have signed up with wordpress and here you can add your uh, uh, your own email your own address and your own phone number and here you can add your address how to add the address let me just tell you it's asking for latitude and longitude just head over to google maps i'll tell you uh, maps dot google dot com. Just head over to maps dot google dot com. Search for the business address you want to add. Like I want to add Webified Hub. This one. So I'll be searching for this address. Now this is the address, and I'll just copy these uh, directions. and uh, after that uh, this how, how is this one um okay so i'll be just going there and pasting it here okay and i'll be just i'll cut this one and paste in longitude and i'll update it and it would be updated but google maps api key is required and you just have to add this google maps api key to elementor and flox also i think and uh, you can also search for with flox and you will see how you can add google maps api key to flox okay so here you go we have created the complete website now if you want to drive traffic to your website you can just hire us or you can use the tools i am using let me just explore these tools uh, so we'll be going there and i have a list of uh, tools there uh, there in our description box so this is our description box so i have added all the tools first one is uh, uh, calendly for appointments you can get the link to all tools And then second one is canva if you want to you do social media or other stuff you can use canva for creating awesome videos for creating awesome graphics uh, business cards and brand kits then you have vid iq pro if you want to grow on youtube uh, you can use this one And then you have semrush which is for uh, uh, ranking high on google then you have grammarly which is for like uh, creating good uh, descriptions creating good text and uh, writing a great email and you can also get uh, more information in description below and you can also book a one on one consultation with me if you want more information and i have also given my contact details uh, to get in touch with us and you can also just uh, sign up with us and uh, do a lot other stuff if you want to do so that's all about the video see you in next video goodbye take care stay safe